This is what's wild in New Hampshire by wildlife biologist Eric Harper. Hey, I'm down at Bear Brook State Park today with Nicole. Nicole is the assistant park manager. Is that correct? Correct. Yep. Nicole, this is Sunday, May 7th. Been a pretty steady, steady line of traffic coming here. What's what's going on with Bear Brook this summer? Do you have staff? I mean, in staffing shortages are everywhere. How are you staffed up? Do you have any lifeguards at the beach this year? And what's going on? What's new in Bearbrook State Park for the summer of 2023? Awesome. Yeah, so right now we are completely staffed, ready to go. We have lifeguards nice. this year. Uh, we have a full staff camp First time now. in a couple of years, right? First time in a couple of years. Right. Uh, we will be opening a Bear Hill retail location. So we will have staff up at our cabins now. So we have eight cabins up at Bear Hill. Wow. We have our 100 uh, site campground. Um, other than that, today's... Uh, now, are they all booked? Or do you have to book way in ahead? Or yeah. are there openings, say, through the summer? What's the probability there of someone landing a spot in Bear Brook? Definitely. So weekends are difficult to get. I would definitely recommend looking now um, all the way through September for any booking. Um, you can book right on reserveamerica.com. That's where all reservations are done. Um, but if you're looking for the weekend, reserve now. The weekdays, you can probably get a spot. But weekends, prompt. Nice, nice. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Now, I've been around the park, as Nicole and I were talking earlier. I've been, I moved to Allenstown, I think, in 73. And before that, when I was in high school in the late 60s, I came up a couple times with a friend to hunt Bear Brook. He thought it was a great place, and I learned since that it was a nice place to hunt. In fact, I got my first deer here in the, in the mid-70s, but uh, a lot more activity, different things. Now, uh, mountain bikers didn't have those. And, you know, it was a wildlife bowels for fishing game. I was down in the park a lot to work here. And uh, <laughs> I think they showed up in like the 90s, the bikes. And it's been kind of a big change there. And, and more horses now, I think, than I remember. Definitely. So mountain bikers are our number one uh, day, user, day users. Uh, horses, we on the weekends consistently have horse trailers in our Hayesfield parking lot. Um, so yeah, the biggest users are definitely equestrians and uh, mountain bikes here at Bearbrook. And let alone the trails, probably mm -hmm. hundreds of miles of trails. Is there a number for the number of miles of trails? About 60 miles of trails throughout the park. Wow, uh, nice. And we'll be doing some growing in the next few years. So wow. there should be more. It's going to add some trails. Yeah. <laughs> so a wonderful place here. I say I deer hunted here. I've checked duck boxes here. Uh, 10,000 acres. I mean, I used to fly the winter waterfowl survey uh, in January for Ed Robinson, the fishing game wildlife uh, waterfowl biologist, and we would fly back from the coast and you would see houses and houses, then you got to Hooks it and Bear Brook, and you could go for like 10 minutes over wilderness. It was a wonderful thing to see from the air. So 10,000 acres, that's a pretty big piece of land. Yep, we're the largest developed state park in in New Hampshire. So wow. So we're pretty proud of it. <laughs> plenty of room for, for the hikers and the mountain bikers and the horse riders to get archery pond, fly fishing only right up the road. So we got some fly fishing too and uh, awesome things. And I was telling Nicole, I actually put the bear back in Bear Brook State Park. I had a, a rehabilitated female bear, I'm guessing in the early 80s and when there were no bear in Bear Brook State Park. And I put a radio call on and let her go in Hayes Field and uh, tracked her for a number of months she stayed so uh bear brook state park was introduced a bear to bear brook state park in the i guess early 80s i'd have to look it up in my diary so a uh, great place now there's bears of course statewide and, and uh, a lot of things happening here in the park so you expect a good season this summer we're expecting a very packed season very packed sure. people are out and about now right people are out and about and the fun fact it's the 80th uh, anniversary for Bear Brook State Park. 80th actually. anniversary, wow. Yeah, that's this year, so. Great, so. great year to celebrate then and get down. And if you haven't been to Bear Brook for a while, come down for a stroll, bring your bike for a mountain bike ride or uh, bring your horse. <laughs> Plenty of places to ride and enjoy the park and it's never crowded. I've never seen this park crowded. There's 10,000 acres. You got room to enjoy and come down and cast a fly or Take a ride on your bike or your horse or take a nice hike. There's lots of things to do in Bear Brook State Park. Nicole, thank you for your awesome work here. Appreciate all that the uh, parks do for us New Hampshire folks. And uh, thank you very much. This is Eric Orr for What's Wild in New Hampshire.